Hey everyone, Tim here from Snap Attack. Let's dig into this week's Threat Snapshot. So, as organizations are migrating to the cloud, attackers are quickly following suit. And this is a question that we get asked a lot is, how do I defend and secure my assets in the cloud? Is it looking at infrastructure logs like CloudTrail? Is it looking at container logs if I'm using Kubernetes? Is it looking at traditional endpoint logs if it's like an EC2 or Azure VM instance where I would have EDR, maybe network, maybe SIM logs? Uh, the answer is yes, it's a little bit of all of those and it can add a lot of confusion, especially because you're going to have different logs from different places. You're going to have to join and correlate on those to really get context and understand what's going on. And particularly with a lot of the cloud logs, they're very vague and you're going to need to join them with others to get a lot more context. So. Whenever I'm looking at cloud attacks, I definitely want to take a look at, you know, what's the bigger picture and kind of take a step back on what the attacker is doing. So today we wanted to highlight some more recent threats that we've seen, you know, from threat actors in the cloud. Um, this is going to focus on Scattered Spider. Um, you know, we've got two intelligence reports, one here from CrowdStrike, one from Mandiant. And whenever I look at a threat intelligence report, I always focus on the things that I can control. So. The headline in both of these is that they were using SIM swapping, um, again, if you're talking about your mobile device, that SIM card in there, to gain access to privileged accounts, and then they were able to use that to, uh, again, launch their attacks on cloud assets. So, you know, if I'm a, you know, a SOC analyst, if I'm a CISO, a lot of the times the question is going to be, you know, how the heck am I going to prevent against a SIM swapping activity? And the answer is probably or not, that's going to be a risk that you're going to have to accept. But really the value is what are the other things in that kill chain afterwards that I do have visibility and telemetry into and that I can control. So I always focus about what's actually actionable on a threat intelligence report. And one of the things here in this one is a little bit later in the kill chain where they're um, on an EC2 instance. They are using a Linux privilege escalation tool, uh, LinPs. Um, it does have you know, some uh, cloud payloads for AWS, Azure, GCP. And again, this is a, a common known attack. It's um, querying the metadata instance, looking for other roles or you know, other credentials that they can use. In this case, they you know, landed on an example machine that was running as Apache Tomcat, so like a web service user and they're going to query the metadata instance to be able to move laterally. So that's something that's perfectly in the wheelhouse that we can you know, look for, we can detect, we can alert on. And good news is a lot of these attacks are easier to automate than you think and test. So I'm going to give a shout out again to Datadog's Stratus Red Team. It's kind of like Atomic Red Team for the cloud. Um, they have a bunch of different attacks against different platforms that you can emulate. You can see what activity, what logs are going to be left behind. Um, it's pretty simple in terms of just give it a couple of configurations. So what instance am I going to run this on? And then, you know, basically you just run the detonate command and it's going to do the thing. So we have Stratus Red Team in our account in Snap Attack. Um, you can see some instances here. This one is, uh, again, what we were talking about in that threat intelligence report, stealing EC2 instance credentials. Um, have some recommended detections for it. We can talk about how we do this. So, you know, create a VM, you know, we have um, these, you know, roles, these credentials that are here, and then we just run detonate. So um, we can see what that looks like in Snap Attack. Um, again, it's pretty simple, straightforward. We've got Stratus Red Team installed on Kali. We're going to run the detonate command and uh, it's going to do its thing here. So you're going to see it querying the metadata instance on the remote host. And all of these logs here from, you know, CloudTrail are being forwarded here and we can see these, you know, on the threat. So we can see a couple of detections, including some of these that are going to be a little bit more, you know, haystacky. And, you know, this is where, you know, I talk about you're going to need a lot of context here within, uh, you know, within the cloud logs. So um, how would I detect? How would I hunt for this sort of activity? Um, for this particular threat, we're looking a lot at the CloudTrail logs. So um, this one is a, a very basic detection looking for any time you're going to run a shell script against a machine. Um, we can see this here for the um, executing discovery commands. It was also used in the EC2 steel instance credentials. Um, again, if you have normal system administrator activity, this is also going to trigger and trigger a lot. So 
Again, it's really going to depend on your environment. I don't know that this would necessarily be high confidence, but again, use in context of other things, you could see, you know, what's going on here and do further investigation of, you know, what actually script is being executed on the EC2 instance. You know, is it something like LinPs? Is it some other, you know, administrator script? What's the timing of it? We have a couple of community detections from other repos. So Sigma community has some really good AWS detections. Um, this one here is again, looking for the uh, STS assume role. Uh, this is again, going to be more of a haystack. You can see, you know, this has had already 101 uh, times in snap attack. Um, you can see exfiltrating an AMI, you know, backdooring a Lambda function. Um, anytime that you're going to assume a role in AWS, and that's going to happen a lot, um, you know, that behavior is going to be logged. And really, again, you're going to have to look at this in terms of context, you know, what machine, what user is assuming the role, what are they doing with it? And um, again, this is really more of a hunt query. And really, it's going to create a haystack where you're going to be able to join that with other activity. Um, so like this alone would not be something I would alert on, but is going to be helpful in, you know, analyzing that sort of data. Um, this one here is, uh, again, from Splunk. They've got a little bit more kind of details here. So they're looking at specific user agents and specific uh, kind of roles that are being requested. So, um, you know, also very similar, but a, a good way to take a look at, you know, this sort of activity. Um, moving on a little bit more, so again, we've got uh, that sw sim swapping again, um, but this one is looking at um, abusing um, some VMs in Azure and particularly the serial console. So this was, you know, pretty interesting and something we hadn't seen a lot of before. So we wanted to add that in the snap attack. Again, lots of stuff that we've talked about before, you know, with that initial access, you know, um, SMS phishing, uh, you know, spear phishing, other things like that. We're really going to focus here on the cloud piece. And if you are familiar with Azure, you probably already know of this. If you're not, um, Microsoft has this special administration council or SAC that um, is going to allow you to run commands uh, to the OS via basically a virtualized serial port. So it's going to launch um, this SAC uh, session.exe, and then you're going to see CMDs and other things spawning from that. So. Um, if I was going to be in Azure in the console, I could basically interact with the VM in this virtual console here. Um, so we have uh, a captured threat here, which is going to show what this is going to look like if um, an attacker manages to get into your Azure console and, you know, runs these sort of things on a VM. So the threat is going to be a little bit uninteresting to watch in terms of the video. But again, we're really focusing on the detection opportunity here. So this is a Windows Victim machine that is running on Azure. And, um, you know, we have our capture tool running. You can see here where we're going to spawn the CMD and we're going to interact and just run the basic who am I. Nothing pops up here on the victim machine because, again, this is through a virtual console. But we do see that we do have logs here. And again, this is really going to show more on, you know, a process graph view. So we're going to see that SAC session that executable is spawned, that is spawned as system. Um, you're going to see that CMD spawning underneath it. And who am I? So again, an attacker could basically do any living off the land things. They could upload files to the machine and then run them. So there's lots of different opportunities here, but, um, you know, in the cloud, this is not something, um, this is something that you would want to look for. But if you were looking at this in a typical Windows environment, again, SAC, uh, yeah, SAC session is um, not something that is, you know, standard in a, a normal on-prem environment. So this is definitely going to give you a little bit more alert. Um, other things to kind of note here, again, why cloud can be so weird. Um, again, this is, um, you know, in Azure, they have this Microsoft monitoring host.exe. If you haven't, you know, seen the cloud or use the cloud a lot, you might see, you know, why is this executable launching C script and this monitor knowledge discovery.vbs file? Um, you know, we have a lot of detections here because this is a weird thing. Um, but again, this is actually normal behavior in the cloud. Um, and this is one of those things which makes clouds very tricky for those that haven't really, you know, defended or done any hunting in there. So lots of things like that, that again, you'll gain that knowledge over time. So, you know, special access console, how would I, you know, detect, how would I hunt for that sort of behavior? Again, this is really primed for um, endpoint detection logs. Um, you could also probably find some um, infrastructure telemetry data anytime that you're interacting with that too. 
Um, we're going to be looking here more from like an EDR standpoint. So anytime SAC session.exe is going to be spawning CMD or PowerShell or other items. And again, you can see that here from that threat that we had captured. So hopefully you're a little bit more informed about the cloud and some threat vectors. Um, this is our snapshot. It's a weekly series. Be sure to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.